How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Nekopara Volume 1. It's been a while since I've recorded really anything, and by a while I mean a week. Uh, also, I'm not feeling that great, so <laughs> there's all that. Um, but yeah, we're finally back. I have absolutely no idea what happened last time we recorded. Uh, and I'm still kind of in that stage of, uh, I don't know if I'll like this, that sort of deal. But, I mean, so far, I mean, it's not bad. I just don't know if it's good. Uh, I'm being told, fuck the cats, so I guess that's what we'll be doing. Because, um, <laughs> what a transition this is. Um, I apparently failed to install the patch. Like, I bought it and everything. It's the official Denposoft patch. And I, I thought I installed it, but I guess I never did. But if I go to the config here, uh, yeah, you can see the turn H animation thing is on. So we're good to go. I don't think I missed anything. I mean, we're still in the beginning of the game. I, I have not heard of anything that kind of just throws hentai at you in like the first hour. So I think we're in the clear. So we'll load, ugh, we'll load everything up. Like I said, I have absolutely no idea where we left off, so I'm in for it. Things look a little different to me. Maybe it's just me, you know, haven't played this in a bit. I don't know. And I'm not talking about the animations, just like, something seems off. Maybe it is my imagination. And maybe it's just me not feeling well and being very sleep deprived. <laughs> just like yesterday, we took a walk through the park in the evening. However, that food stand was nowhere to be found. It just so happened that no one was home on the day I decided to take the two cat girls home. I had also happened to leave the house key behind. So, to make good use of time, I went to do some shopping before Shigure got home. Oh, we were bringing these two home. Alright. I, I think that's what the deal was. I'm gonna go with that. If I'm wrong, then whatever. That isn't the right word at all. Chocola, if you're tired, why don't we rest a bit? There's no need for you to apologize. She had a troubled smile on her face as she nodded. It was pretty clear why she wasn't in good spirits. That's why there was nothing I could really say to her. Well, there happens to be a bench over there. Why the fuck? God damn it. Go away. Fucking Jared. <laughs> well, there happens to be a bench over there, so why don't we rest a bit? Ah, thanks. Something for everyone, okay? Oh, I, got, I have a lovely feeling about this one. I handed Vanilla some change, change, ugh, and offered the bench to Chocola. I'm sorry, guys. I, I don't know if I'm saying words correctly or not. I'm kind of out of it, but I need to get back into the rhythm of recording and uploading because I feel like I'm already getting behind after my one-week break. Whoa, is, is this a, a scene? Oh man, we haven't seen one of these since the beginning of the game. The constant sea breeze rustled the trees in the park. All that could be heard throughout the empty park were the quiet sounds of nature. I silently sat down next to the disheartened Chocolo. Like the gently setting sun, time passed by slowly. Oh, will she? Her voice was so quiet that I wasn't quite sure if I had heard her or not. Even so, she answered clearly. Without saying a word, I responded by gently rubbing Chocola's head. Hell yeah, dude. You're my cat. It'd be weird if my cat did not call me. Uh, of course. It'd be weird if my cat didn't come to visit me while I was away from home. Alright, th th that's going a little bit too far there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, 
Her voice trembled as she frantically wiped away her tears. She stifled her sobbing, and her voice became strained. She looked pain, pained, ugh, God damn it! as she did her best to hold back her emotions, biting her lips. I held back my irresponsible words that were on the brink of coming out with all my strength. Yeah, of course I will. I'd say like the worst part about this session is not the fact that I'm not feeling that well, but I don't have water. <laughs> so as soon as my mouth gets dry from all the talking that I am, you know, bound to be doing, uh, I am, I am fucked, man. <laughs> I find that drinking water or just something in general throughout a recording session makes it much easier to do, especially when my recording sessions for visual novels are 30 minutes long and I only receive one episode from them. I was frustrated at myself for saying nothing. I was empty. I could only offer condolences that could not be put into words. I rubbed Chocola's head as gently as I could. <laughs> Okay, I'll admit, alright, this is this is my nice side coming out for once. That's a pretty cute scene right there. I don't really think I'm kind at all. Before? Chocola closed her eyes and smiled. Are we gonna get a flashback? Come on, give us the flashback. Ah, of course I remember that. Hell yeah, dude, we're getting the flashback. Hell yeah, or well, something like that. It was a cold day half a year ago. Chocola and Vanilla were huddled together, crying by the side of the road. They were still so young, they couldn't even speak yet. It was that day that I embraced their small cold bodies and took them home with me. There was no way I could simply forget that important day when our family grew. Alright, I guess that was the flashback. In the beginning, you two really couldn't get used to things at home. You two wouldn't eat at all, which really worried Shugade. I started to hear a tiny bit of laughter in her voice as we reminisced about the past. Ah, I definitely do remember that. Oh, wait, is this like a full-on flashback now? Are we... Are we... Are we actually... Yeah, we are! <laughs> oh, shit! This is... Oh, man. I want to say that's cute, but they have a fever. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm conflicted. It was a few days after we brought Chocola and Vanilla home. At that point, they'd only occasionally drink some water, and as always, they didn't really touch their food. The combination of malnourish fuck, malnourishment and cold weather had really begun to weaken their bodies. They both developed high fevers and were in pain. <laughs> It's all right. I'm with you two, so don't worry. Uh, I guess that answers the question that I never raised. Uh, I, I guess cat girls go to the hospital. They don't go to the vet. They definitely go to the hospital. And now, an unrelated question. Are there cat boys? 
Are there male versions of these humanoids? Or am I am I trying to think too much outside of the box? I don't even know why I'm bringing this up. ご主人様がそばにいてくれなかったら、ここにいなかったです。あの時、ご主人様のおかげで、ご飯も食べれるようになりました。しぐれちゃんともみんなとも仲良くなりました。I'm not gonna lie, that actually warms my heart. Like, not even a little bit, like, that actually warms my heart. Because now we're not getting, like, all the shenanigans, we're actually getting some plot. Pure, uh, plot. Like, no joke, actual plot. But I can't wait for the other sort of plot later. I wish that her tear-filled eyes would not spill over. Those tears were filled with anxiety, sadness, and happiness. She smiled all she could before me. She said that with the faintest of smiles. One that seemed as if would disappear at any moment. Those words were so gentle and warm, but there was also an undeniable sadness and emptiness mixed in with them. Chocola. You know, when she puts it like this, I'm just like, you know what, dude? Let the cat girls stay. You know, they're your family. They're your cats. I mean, come on. If I had a cat, which I, I, I don't, but if I did, I'd bring it everywhere with me, man. Man, if I'm gonna move out and I'm gonna if I'm gonna run a bakery, that cat's gonna help me run that shit. I was the one she was saying all this to. Even so, the only thing I could say back to her was her name. ご主人様が辛くて大変そうなの。なんとなくわかりません。本当になんとなくですけど、お掃除でもお洗濯でもお料理でも、ショコラがお手伝いできることは何でもしますから。今すぐにはできなくても、絶対にちゃんとできるよう
迷惑かけたって一緒にいたいそれでも一緒にいたいものだと思う私たちが幸せかどうかなんていくらご主人でも決めつけるのは違うと思うよそれに大事な人が大変ならなおさらそばにいたい何ができるかはわからないけどでも辛い時にそばで励ますことくらいできるよ。It was as if her gentle, warm, and soft smile had become the setting sun. These uncharacteristic words from Vanilla deeply penetrated and seeped into my heart. ご主人が本当にショコラのことを思うなら一緒にいるべきだと思う。There was not even the faintest bit of hesitation. They were such honest and absolutely straightforward words. Who am I to dictate Chocola and Vanilla's happiness? Only those words continue to strongly resonate in my mind, which was otherwise empty. ご主人様がいないのは嫌なんですいくら大変でもそこらはご主人様と一緒にいたいんですだからお願いしますご主人様のそばにいさせてくださいここがそこらがいたい場所なんです She was on the verge of tears but Chocola's face lit up They were nothing but absolutely pure genuine words <sighs> Humans really are at a loss for words when it comes to cat girls, huh? Saying no to their words was not something I could bring myself to do. I thought, <laughs> I thought for a second he actually did. <laughs> and of course they, word for word, say the same goddamn thing. It won't be like it was back at home. You can't just live here however you like. Got it? Wait a minute. The dreary moments seemed to be blown away by her dazzling smile. Despite all this talk about family, perhaps I was the one that didn't really believe in it. Thinking about all this from their perspective, it was very simple. Although I thought it was all still so immature, perhaps cat girls were more human than humans were. When it came to honesty. From here on out, we need to do our best all together. Is that all you guys have been eating at home? Even if the road ahead of us is uncertain, I lovingly rub their heads, disheveling. The fuck am I even saying anymore? Their hair. Alright. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Why don't we head back to the shopping district then? We have to go buy that shampoo you guys like, don't we? Hell yeah, dude. Ah, shit. We're not made of money. Well, today's a celebration, so why not? Just this once, okay? This was the beginning to a bright new life. And together with the happy and high spirited Chocola and Vanilla, we took the first steps towards it. Hell yeah, indeed. I'm looking forward to it. For sure. What, what's gonna happen now? Are we, uh. Are we getting an intro? Yes! Hell yeah, we are! 
And now I just gotta talk over the entire thing so I don't get a copyright claim. Like I did in the fucking absolute finale of my Grisaia shit. I tried actually recording the, uh, the credits scene for once. Who the hell are all these characters? But no, I tried recording the, the credits scene. And even so, I lowered the volume and talked over the entire thing. Those motherfuckers claimed the video. So, I, I don't know. Whatever. Alright, yeah, guys. I think I'm going to stick with this playthrough. I'm kind of interested to see what's going to happen here. Like, I know it's going to be silly at times, but I think that's just me trying to struggle to uh, get back into the, the casual play. So, we, we saw Chocola. Now, here's Vanilla in their, in their quote-unquote uniforms, which is... Always a fun time. I don't know who the fuck these people are. Or these people. Or her. There's a lot of food right there. Man, I'm excited to learn who all these characters are. For, for sure, dude. For sure. Oh, man. N now they're eating. Now they're... I, I don't know what's happening. This, this is an interesting intro. I have absolutely no idea what's happening. I feel like we're just seeing scenes. What the fuck? Alright. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're definitely seeing some scenes. Cool, I guess. Wasn't expecting that one. Alright. Okay. Characters I don't know. Characters I do know. Seeing a little, uh... What, what are they called? Chibli figures or whatever? I, I feel like I said something that's totally off topic, but I forget what those little figures are called. Alright, there we go. Volume 1. Hell yeah. It's exactly what this is. Oh shit. We got an achievement for getting through the opening. That was like, so, getting through the opening took us, what, three episodes? Because this is the third episode. How long is it going to take to get through this, this first chapter? Or wait a minute, what chapter are we on now? Are we still in chapter one? Oh, no, we're on chapter two. So we finished the first chapter, which I guess was the opening. I, I, I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Whatever, I don't even know how many chapters there are. So I guess we'll read a little bit into this chapter. We'll get it started at least, and then we'll call it a day. What the fuck? Of course there's a panty shot. Of course. No, how about you not do that? You motherfuckers. Stop fooling around. The two cat girls showed off the uniforms they had just received comedically. Wait, so they're actually called uniforms? I was kind of joking around about that. Swamped with work, I turned away from the two cat girls. Uh, yeah. It looks really good. Although it was last minute, I'm glad that we found something decent. Ah, it looks good on you too, Vanilla. I'm counting on you two, you know. To be honest, I'm really worried. Wait a minute, where the fuck did we get these name tags? Oh, I guess we're back to this. Back to the old, uh... Regular shit here. Uh, no, I'm, I'm really good, dude. Not that kind of cat girl. What is wrong with this universe? All 
Alright. My cat girls sure are energetic. I looked at the frolic frol fuck frolicking cat girls out of the corner of my eye as I wiped the trays and tableware. We open tomorrow, huh? The necessary ingredients were already in the refrigerator, and the decorative plants for the shop had arrived. And I figured there would be more excitement to all of this, but naturally that wasn't the case. Time did fly by when we were trying to get everything prepared, though. I reached for the business cards that had just arrived that morning. I can't pronounce that. You got that right. No, that's exactly what business cards are used for. She knew about protecting personal information, but not about business cards? Well, it was true that it would be a plain, or a pain, what the fuck, if I was in some sort of strange business or something. Please back up. Ah, it would be nice if everything went like that. I rubbed the high-spirited chocola on the head as if that dream had already been granted. If she was already this genuinely happy about things, I began to feel like it all might go well. It really was reassuring to have someone else here along with me. I found myself thinking about that all again. Uh, what's wrong, Vanilla? Want what? Oh, food? Ah, I don't mind. It was rare for Vanilla to want something like that. Oh, wait. Are we rubbing her on the head too? Apparently that's a thing here. All anime girls like that. But I imagine even cat girls like to have mementos. I had several hundred ca Oh, wait, they want a card. Oh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> At least we got to the bottom of that one. I had several hundred cards, so it really wasn't a big deal. Okay, I had a lot made, so go ahead and take however many you'd like. Hey, wait, you can't take all of them! That's not what I meant by take however many you want. I watched Chocola take the box and go. Maybe Japanese was hard for them to understand. Maybe. Just maybe. Alright. I'm not going to read that out loud. You guys can do that yourselves. Wouldn't want to ruin the immersion or whatever. Man, I really have no idea what the fuck's going on here. And we'll figure that out next time, I guess. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Nekapara Volume 1, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more. Because I will definitely continue this on until things get worse. Which I really doubt they could. I mean... I like I liked this episode. This was actually nice. I actually enjoyed this one. So I'll stick with this, guys. So look forward to more Nekopara here on the channel. And again, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.